two, take three. Scene five. Mm -hmm. Alright, as you saw, we had a trip to Universal, and so me and Chris are going to be um, rating uh, what rides we went on. We're going to be showing you all the rides we went on in some other places, you know, like a restaurant or, or so and so. Now, the map is behind us, and we're going to be pointing out things. Alright, so stay tuned for the review. We will be exploring Universal Studios. Over here we have Confrontation. I know you can't see me. Alright, King Kong. I know you can't see it. Earthquake is over here. Can't see that either. Jaws, over here. Can't see that either, but we're explaining it. Alright, now below the center is Amity Village. And it shows Quint's nautical treasures and all of Jaws, the movie. Over here, we have the Back to the Future, which is opening in spring 1991. And we have the Back to the Future shop with gifts in it. Over by, um, uh, over by here, we have the, ha the Fantastic World of Hanna-Barbera. Over here, we have Alfred Hitchcock in the, making, in the Art of Making Movies. Go up a little, and we have um, MCA Recording Studio Soundtracks. Right next to it is the post-production of Murder, She Wrote and Mystery Theater. All right, go down that road, watch out for the ladies, all right, go and you will see just the Atari space station, stuff like that. All right, go over to Metropolitan Set, go down. Here we have the Ghostbusters Theater with Ghostbusters the movie showing. And it shows a skit from there, go down, all right. Here we have Nickelodeon Studios, okay, and here's the Universal Studios tour. Let's cut across. Okay, we have Fan of the Opera Horror Makeup Show. North of that, we have Mel's American Graffiti Drive-In. All right, down more, we have Animal Crackers Restaurant and Animal House, and the fascinating E.T. Adventure with the E.T. Toy Closet and Photo Spot. Go um, down the road, and we are, we go down this road, we're at the Hard Rock Cafe, the Kingdom of Rock and Roll. All right, go, <laughs> go down there, and we have the Psycho set with the house and Bates Motel and the on the Psycho Hill with the Psycho House. And Norman Bates is another staying out here. All right, here is the parking lot. All right, right here is where we park. By the stand of the Opera Horror Makeup Show is the um, DeLorean from Back to the Future, starring Marty McFly. All right. Here we have the um, walk, of, uh, walk of Fame, is it? And we have different names of people. Okay, now that we have reviewed the, um, where the rides are, we are going to discuss the rides, rate them, and see how good they are. Okay, why don't we start off in this park near Amity Island. We couldn't have gone, we didn't go on the Jaws ride because it was broken, so we can't rate that. Jaws will be opening in um, 91. Or, this is 91, but like in springtime. Around there. All right. Go down here. At, back to this. We have Back to the Future, which is opening in Back, back to the Future is opening in spring 1991 also. All right. So that those are the only two rides that weren't there to, um, that were closed. So we'll now. talk about that later. All right. Let's move down to the Psycho set. How would you rate how they designed the Psycho House and the Bates Motel? Well, I give that a thumb up. But a thumb down because um, I think the thumb down was because the because you weren't allowed to go up in it. It was just a, it was just a thing to see. It, it would have been better if you could go up and see the Psycho House, but you weren't allowed to do that. It, it would have been pretty pretty much better if people were allowed to go up and see it themselves closely. How would you rate it? Mm, I would rate it um, thumb up and thumb down because exactly and besides. They really didn't give it a lot of quality. If you notice in the movie, and I'm not going to go into detail, but if you notice in the movie, the mother is sitting on the left window. In the brochure, she's sitting in the right window, and here she's sitting in the back window. I guess they do that through design, but that's what I pointed out. All right, how about the Hard Rock Cafe? We didn't go to it, but how would you rate the outside and stuff like that? I'd give that a thumb up and a thumb down. The thumb down is because of the food. The food is great. But the prices are real high. If you'd have lunch, I'd suggest it to have it in the theme park, not the Hard Rock Cafe. But if you want to, because if you want to spend a lot of money, the food costs real, the food is uh, uh, is expensive there. So 
I give that a thumb up and a thumb down. The thumb up is for the outside. The outside, the music, the the setup is is great. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the E.T. adventure. What would you rate that? I give that two thumbs up. I really can't find anything wrong with that except um. Well, the ride went slow, but that and um, I wanted to point out that I don't think you have a choice. You either go to the spaceship or the Oh boat. yeah, I know the choice. So if you don't so I give that a thumb up and a thumb down. Yeah, okay? Me too. I changed I changed my thumbs. Alright. We didn't go to the Phantom of the Opera Horror Mako show. We were though. Alright? Yeah. We okay. have time for that, but Alright. Uh we go down there in the main gate, main entrance. How about the fantastic the fantastic world of Hanna Barbera? I what give, would you rate that? I give up that two thumbs up also. I I give that two thumbs up. I try, I tried and tried to find something wrong with that, but it was the, it was pretty good, you know, no long lines. You know, like if it when when you went to confirmation, you had to wait outside so long, and then once you got inside, it was a real long line also. Make the lines too long. But on this one, when you wait outside, once you get into the building, you're right there. So the the line was great, the ride was great, good flexing. And I rated a two thumbs up, and also because. Um, I'm pointing out because instead of standing in the line bored, they have little cartoons for kids and yeah. people to watch. Let's go to the Alfred Hitchcock and the Art of Making Movies. I give that a two thumbs up. Yes, me too. I give that two thumbs up. The, there's a part I like was the 3D glasses where birds were just flying at you and the set pieces were flying all over the place. And after that, you get to see the psycho setup. And that was a good setup. They did a lot yeah. of work on that. Yeah. And that was really funny, good. too. Yeah. 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 And I then guess. Alfred Hitchcock explained it, and so did Anthony Perkins. Yeah. Okay. We're done with that section. I give it two thumbs up, too. All right. Where do we go now? How about Nickelodeon Studios? What would you give that? Nickelodeon Studios, I gave one thumb up, one thumb, and one thumb down. Same the, up, the outside was pretty good, and, but the auditions, if you get there at the right time, the auditions would be great. But we had to wait and wait for the next group, and then 10 minutes between each audition. And then we, we didn't go anyway, and we wasted 20 minutes worth of time. We couldn't yeah. go on to the Phantom of the Opera. And plus, show. and plus, when we went on our tour, we, we only got to see two sets. And most of the uh, machinery was in the way. So I gave it yeah. a thumb up and thumb down. It wasn't as good as but I wanted it. They didn't, they didn't show any, any game shows. But, but the thumb up was because um, the, of the... Um, Flying machine and the tour was yeah. you know, pretty good. Yeah, they have outside um, and the the, the um the, the scenery, the um yeah, the decoration. Outside, outside scenery. Ghostbusters. I give that a thumb up and a thumb up, I guess, two thumbs up. Yeah. Because they use a lot of good special effects and they I guess they tried an effort to make it into a live performance. What would you rate it? Yes, I'd give that two thumbs up also for the um Special effects in the real people, which is pretty good. I like that. And good audience participation and stuff. Another thing we didn't see was the Murder, She Wrote Mystery Theater, so we cannot rate that. Yes. Confrontation. We'll go to that, and then we'll go to Earthquake. Confront Confrontation was a good ride, but the line, they just made the line too long. They yeah. should have shortened the line, and, you know, so people, it would have been better if the people were back out into the, um, real far back, instead of going through all these mazes. You know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was different scenes. Yeah. That's what I like. So I give it a one thumb up and one thumb down. But really, it's not their fault that um, the lines were bad, you know? So, yeah, one thumb up and one th thumb down because it was really quick for a long wait of lines. I give that um, two thumbs up because, well, the lines were, pr were pretty bad. But um, the scenery, once you got inside the building, the scenery was pretty great. But, but and when you're riding the ride, it, it was real great. The, the part that really got me is that they used two King Kongs, which would take a lot of machinery to do that. Yeah, There's, so they made an effort. Yeah, that, that was a good effort. To it's not really their fault of the lines, yeah. but I just didn't like them. Yeah. Earthquake. I give that a one thumb up and a one thumb down. I give it a one thumb up because, um, you know, it was, you know, it was pretty good in the, um, the movie and the, the, the um, scenery was pretty good. I give it a one thumb down, not only because of the lines, but because it was so quick, and it was like, you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and then we're out of here. But they should have done a little more to perfect it and to uh, make it more exciting. Yeah. And I think that... I guess, um... Oh, yeah, you're... I guess, um, Earthquake, two thumbs down. It's sick to high heaven. Yeah, I think so 
so bad, it broke down the jaws right. I mean, it went so fast. And also, once you got in, you know, everything happened all at once. So you didn't really get to see, you know, all you, all you got to see was what, what was in front of your face. And what, you didn't really get to see um, what was in the background or what was going on. You, got, you, you know what was actually going on, but everything went just so fast. You know, there's so many things happening at the same time. And then it was all over, and then you're leaving. All right, I guess that's about it. We didn't see any more um, yeah. amusements. We stopped at Animal Crackers, which is a restaurant. They have pretty good food. Now you have But they burnt the hamburgers, which I hated. And they, and they spiced yeah. up the fries, which I hated all. Yeah, that was Parking was good. We had good arrangement. Now parking. give that two thumbs up. You do what do you give it? Yeah, two thumbs up for parking. All right. And I, I guess that's it. Yeah. So I'll think. All right. Thank you for joining us and um, enjoy our next skit.